What's up, JoJo in the morning family? I hope you are having a super good day. What I want to talk to you about is something that works for me, and it is my early morning routine. I remember years ago, I was in the place of prayer, probably about 30 years ago, and I asked the Lord, I said, God, give me my life scripture. I know that you have a scripture that I can base my life on. And I heard the Lord as clear as could be. Mark 135. And I remember I said, God, I don't know what that is. So I got up, grabbed my Bible, and I read it. Mark 135 says, Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, Jesus went out and departed to a solitary place where he prayed. When I read that scripture, I said, I know exactly why God gave me that scripture. Because for the rest of my life, he wants me to start every morning in the place of prayer. I've heard people say that if you own your morning, you can own your day. You know, I haven't hit the snooze button in years because Every night when I go to bed, I already know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I know what my morning looks like. My morning looks the same every day. I wake up, I have prayer and coffee with Jesus, get me a workout in our home gym, and then, you know, if the kids are in school, um, I take my son to school, and and then I, I go to our church, and then I have my morning set up and then I have my different appointments and meetings through ministries and business. I have it all set up. And to the amount of your day that you can have systematic structure in place, things will just start to flow. You know, I heard somebody say one time that your first three decisions that you make are the best decisions that you will make all day. So I don't worry about what I'm waiting for breakfast. I already know what I'm going to eat for breakfast. I don't worry about what I'm going to wear that day. I already know what I'm going to wear. And I don't worry about what appointments I'm going to set up. They're already set up. And so I use my first three decisions on creative stuff. And so my morning is set. My wife is the same way. Every morning when she wakes up, she goes to her office. She has a work chair at her desk, and then she has a prayer chair. She gets in her prayer chair. She reads uh, a few scriptures. Um, chapters in the Bible every day. She reads in a few books every day. She has a gratitude journal. She writes in a journal and then she prays and has declarations. Well, when I start my day, first thing I do is I go to prayer. I make declarations, decrees. I go to God with a heart of thanksgiving and I have me some coffee. And then after that, I eat me a, you know, a, a breakfast. And then I go into to my workout room and I work out for a while. My day is systematic like that. And when I get to our our church where our offices are, I I have my day set up. And when you do that and you start flowing, everything starts to work out for you. You know, I have a calendar that they are mirror image or two calendars. They're mirror image of one another, one at our church and one at the house. And every time somebody calls to set up an appointment, I have an appointment set up. And so I'm not sitting around thinking about what I'm gonna do. I remember years ago, I came home one day and I was tired and my wife said, what, what did you do? They said, oh, I did a lot. What'd you do? Oh, I did a lot today, I mean a whole lot. She said, what'd you do? And I explained it to her and she said, oh, that's not a whole lot. So I started writing down what I did and I realized I was thinking about what I'm gonna do the most more than I actually did. I was thinking, but what am I gonna do next? What am I gonna do next? And I really didn't get as much done as I thought I did. So now, like Sunday nights, I start planning out the week. And sometimes uh, the night before I go to bed, I'll plan out a few things during the day. But I always own my morning routine. It's the same every day. And by doing this, you get into a consistency. If you can have a daily schedule set up that you read the Word of God, you have your prayer time, you may get your um, morning exercise and working out in, you get these things done systematically every single day. You don't have to worry about putting them in. When people struggle with their walk with God, I say, okay, what time is your appointment with God every single day? And they're like, well, I mean, I try to work prayer in. I try, I say, it never works like that. You have an appointment every single day with the Lord. And by doing that, everything will start to fall into place. Next scripture 
is Psalms 5 and 3. My voice you will hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning, I will direct it to you and I will look up. And that is so true. Every morning, the Lord is going to hear my voice. You know, in Matthew 7 and 7, it talks about knocking and, and it will be open. You know, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. And I tell, I tell people when I'm preaching sometimes, I'm like, hey, when I wake up every morning, I'm knocking on heaven's door. And the angels are like, Jojo Dawson's up. He's knocking. He's asking. He's seeking. He's ready. Lord, you're going to know when I'm up. You're going to hear my voice. I'm going to direct it. First thing I do when I wake up and I start praying, I give God gratitude. I thank God for, for my life, my wife, my kids, um, our life, our, our family, our friends, everything. I start thanking God for. Then I pray for my wife, my kids, and then I go through the things that we have. And then I pray in the Spirit. And one of the main things in daily prayer that people miss in the mornings is I sit there and I'm quiet before the Lord because I want God to speak to me. See, having an early morning relationship with God is talking back and forth. It's not me just praying to God, but, but I'm sitting there and I'm praying and then I'm listening because God loves to speak to us. God's always looking for somebody to speak through. And if you get this part about Mark 135, it will change everything about your day. When you can seek him early in the morning. Um, I talk to so many people who get up late or, or they get up just in time to get the kids ready or they get up just in time to rush. Well, you know, if I ever do that, I, I have done that hardly just a few days maybe in 30 years, but I felt like my whole day was rushed. But when I get up and I have time just not to pray, but think and, and have my mind clear and ready to go at my day, everything starts to, to work out. To meditate on the scriptures that I've read, to spend time with the Lord, to have already heard the Lord's voice. People say, oh, I'm just going to pray to the Lord on my way to work. Well, that's not the same thing. You, you need to spend time when you're focused. If you want to have a meaningful relationship with anybody, you need to have a time when the two of you are looking at one another and you're just talking back and forth. God's the same way. You need the time that you are going to spend with him in the mornings. When you do that, everything starts to shift. I, can, I owe my success to that one encounter I had with God when he spoke to me about Mark 135 because the Lord knew that I needed him first thing in the morning. And I bet God the Father really likes hearing his kids first things in the morning. You know, like, like my son, first thing he does when he gets up, he knows I'm going to be in the prayer chair. He walks over. We talk. We pray. We, we talk about God, Scripture, the stock market, whatever. But, but we talk for a little bit. And, you know, I, I love those moments. And it's the same way with the Lord. Friends, if you can set an early morning routine, you will see a huge shift in your life. You know, we, we've taught our kids that the first thing is when you wake up, have you some prayer time, have you some Bible time. You need to make that a priority right at the first part of your day. And the people that do that, everything starts to change. I've, I've mentored a lot of business owners, and I tell them that, and they're like, Joe, our business grew because I grew, and I started my early mornings with the Lord, clearing my mind, thinking about my day, getting things planned out. Um, a lot of business owners, they have like a short 10, 15-minute meeting at work with, with the, the people that work for them, and then they dispatch them, and, and a lot of churches do that, that the, the head, the lead apostle, prophet, or pastor will have staff come in. Well, when their mind is clear, they can lead better, and, and things just seem to work like that. And so a lot of people, it's probably the number one question I, ask, I get asked is, hey, tell me about your morning routine. I need to know about this because this is how I need to reshape my life. And so I just tell people, your morning routine is one of the most important things that you will do. Get you a good breakfast in, get you some water in. Um, I, I just, I like to take care of myself, spirit, mind, emotion, and body first thing in the morning. And so I am ready to go with the day because I know every day is a gift from God and I want to make the best out of it.
every single day that the Lord has blessed me with. So my friends, it's little steps that you take that make your life better. Okay? Love you guys.